Are there obituaries of economists that stand out in your mind, or maybe some you've written? Well, interestingly, <laughs> there is one. As I said, my original training was in classical music, and so my editors almost jumped out of their skins with excitement when they yeah. discovered they could assign me the obituary of a Harvard e economist named Richard T. Gill. Now, why did they give that to me? Because, as we say in the lead of the obit, Richard T. Gill, in all statistical probability, the only Harvard economist to sing 86 performances with the Metropolitan Opera, yes. died, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I remember reading that one. That was before I knew uh, that you were you. Mm -hmm. I was me then. You just didn't know it. <laughs> Correct. Um, <laughs> And in fact, he it's again one of these wonderful, unexpected twists for all concerned, no one more so than for Richard T. Gill. He discovered when he was in his 40s that he had this really good voice, started taking lessons, and amazingly was good enough to sing at the Met while teaching at Harvard. 